good morning let us thank god for the gift of life for the gift of health for the gift of our families for the gift of our friends and for all the beautiful things and blessings that god showers upon us so let us begin to talk to god today the church celebrates the feast of mary magdalene the disciple of the lord she was from magdala a fishing town on the western shore of the sea of galilee in roman judea jesus cleansed her of seven demons she was one of the women who accompanied and aided jesus in galilee and all four canonical gospels attest that she witnessed jesus crucifixion and burial she stood by the cross near the virgin mary an unidentified apostle whom jesus loved having seen where jesus was buried she went with two other women on easter morning to the tomb to anoint the corpse finding the tomb empty mary ran to the disciples christ then appeared to mary and according to john 20:17 instructed her to tell the apostles that he was ascending to god today's first reading 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verses 14 to 17 So for anyone who is in Christ there is a new creation Today's gospel So Mary of Magdala told the disciples I have seen the Lord Today's reflection I witness of the resurrection of Jesus On the feast of Mary Magdalene a Roman Catholic priest was invited to an Anglican cathedral and said that Mary Magdalene is considered to be a saint by the Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, Anglican and Lutheran churches. He told the congregation that in 2016, Pope Francis raised the level of liturgical memory on July 22nd from memorial to feast and for her to be referred as the Apostle of the Apostles. Other Protestant churches honor her as a heroine of the faith. He ended that she was mentioned by name 12 times in the canonical gospels more than most of the apostles and more than any other woman in the gospels other than Jesus family How do we promote ecumenism on the commonly honored feast days by different denominations Thank you for joining us may God bless you and your families and I can't wait to see you tomorrow have a wonderful day and remember God loves you